found out 10 years ago that she was HIV positive. She continues to have unprotected sex because she is afraid she will be rejected if she discloses her virus. And lastly, meet Gwen. She is also HIV positive and plans to wipe out as many men as possible by infecting them intentionally with AIDS. Let me tell you, miss, um, I didn't get it from a sexual transmitted disease. I uh, stuck a hanger in my made myself lose a baby, and they had to give me some blood. And that's how I got it, from poison blood. I get the age, or they're married, and half of the men are married and cops. So her half of the New Orleans Police Department have AIDS. And she wants to take I the mayor down. You. you heard me? You hear me? And you're proud and of that I'm fact. Married. Yes, I am very proud. You, and you realize you're, you're killing? Wife? Because you know what, Ricky? If you're married, why would you go sleeping around? You have no business sleeping around. If you're married, you're supposed to be faithful to your wife. So guess what? The Lord ain't got to punish you. Gwen going to punish you. I don't walk around. I don't have an STD that I carry around all the time. If I contact it, I contact it. But even while you have the STD, you still sleep around. That's right. And if somebody doesn't. Uh, so what makes you different from Gwen? Y'all are both it's Because if I have it, it's not like I go without and get untreated. I get it, I always get treated. And I, and. Let me tell you something. But you're if somebody contacts it while I have it, you're so going to get something that That's you cannot now. treat. You're going to get something that you cannot treat. AIDS is something that you cannot and get rid of. And he just keep on spreading. Excuse me, excuse me, Gwen, I want to ask you a question. How would you feel if your kid was grown up and he, do you have a son? Do you have a son? I have uh, two sons and a daughter. Okay, one of your sons met a woman like you and infected your son with AIDS. If he was being a dog, let him have it. Oh, shut up. Contracted herpes from this woman. Um, I wanted to kill her. I was planning on ways in which to run this woman down and murder her. I says, you know, I know all there is to know now, three or four years later, about herpes. Um, I'm having difficulty dating. I would like to get started and get back into having a relationship. This woman basically told me that this organization couldn't help me. And the way she told it to me pissed me off to such an extent that you started decided, your own organization. I decided to do my own. I started Herpes Discreet Dating Service. Um, that went well for a while. Good there for was you. There problems with dating services. So you turned your negative into a positive right. for other turned people. Right. negative into a positive. Good for you. You realize that you are on national television today. Yep. Millions and millions of men are going to see you. Mm. They're going to recognize your face, and they're going to run when they see you coming. <laughs> It saddens me to say that there are probably a lot more people like Gwen out there. The fact remains that nobody can be absolutely sure of their partner's past. When you go to bed with someone, remember that you are also going to bed with every person that they've slept with. So please be safe. Don't let that one moment of pleasure change the course of the rest of your life. Thank you for watching. See you next time.